of Looney Tunes, you don't really think of them as huge. Big in size, that is. Sure, you may have tall, skinny characters like Bugs and Wile E. Coyote, but some of them are also rather small, like Tweety and Yosemite Sam. There is one, though, that is a big exception. Big! <laughs> That's a joke right there! You better pay attention, because I make a lot of those in here. Anyways, if there is one character that is huge in terms of personality, size, and especially in mouth, you know that it can only mean that one Big Bird out of the entire gang. I say other than Big Bird himself. I'm talking, of course, of Foghorn Leghorn. Kill the Camp Town races! Yes, down in the farm, he is always known to be the loud mouth schnook. Always talking, getting himself into crazy situations around the farm, and just messing with the barnyard dog. Now, how he came to be this giant chicken is quite interesting. Foghorn was actually inspired by the character Senator Claghorn, played by Kenny Del Mar, from the popular 40s radio show, The Fred Allen Show, which Del Mar himself based on the character on a Texas Ranger that would often say, That's a joke, I say, that's a joke, son. But believe it or not, Foghorn wasn't necessarily meant to be as big as he is, fame-wise, that is. Beforehand, the star was supposed to be Henry Hawk, the tiny chicken hawk who acts ten times his size and would do anything to nab himself a chicken. His first cartoon was all the way back on August 8th, 1942 with the Squawkin' Hawk, and would appear again a year later in Flop Goes the Weasel, both directed by Chuck Jones. But then a few years afterwards, when the little chicken hawk was given to the hands of writer Warren Foster and newly appointed director Bob McKimson, they decided to create their first characters for the Looney Tunes lineup with a big rooster and a dog that has to put up with his crap. When they made their debut with Walkie Talkie Hockey on August 31st, 1946, the cartoon became a massive success. So much so that it even got an Oscar nomination, and from then on, the Chicken Hawk, the Rooster, and the Dog would make a dynamic trio in a series of tunes, all under the watchful eye of McKimson. As for the Big Chicken himself, he wouldn't be fully refined as the character we all know and love until his third cartoon in 1948 with the Foghorn Leghorn. As time would move on, audiences were starting to show their preference in terms of the characters. It's not really the star Chicken Hawk that they want, it's actually Foghorn. As a result, the amount of times Henry appeared started to lose steam by the 50s and really slowed down after the 1952 The Egg Sighted Rooster, and afterwards would only appear in 1955's All Fouled Up and 1961's Strangled Eggs. But even without Henry, Foghorn would not be short on characters. After her appearance in the 1950 tune, An Egg Scramble, Miss Prissy would come into Foghorn's cartoons, starting with the 1951 Lovehorn Leghorn, always aiming to get the love of the giant rooster. On top of that, in 1954, she would bring in her son into the mix, Egghead Jr., in Little Boy Boo. That boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. And, of course, these cartoons wouldn't be complete without someone being a bit of the antagonist. Some would say it's the barnyard dog, but he's more of the straight man. I'm talking about another character hungry for chickens, the Weasel, who first appeared in 1953's Plop Goes the Weasel. Foghorn would go on to appear in a total of 28 of Bob McKimson's cartoons, going all the way up to 1963 with his last tune, Banty Raids. After his career in cartoons, Foghorn would continue on making many different appearances from movies like Space Jam, to TV shows like Tiny Toons Adventures, to some of Chuck Jones' tunes from the 90s, to literally becoming human in Lunatics Unleashed, to even appearing in commercials, all done by many well-known voice actors after Mel Blanc, including Frank Gorshlin, Jeff Bennett, Bill Farmer, Joe Alasky, Jeff Bergman, Billy West, and many more giving a chance to shine the light on what people would either call him the most beloved cartoon chicken, or just one big crazy schnook. I'm just a loudmouth schnook. Chicken or schnook, in our oven he'll look good. Yes, yes, 
see it. See you later, dudes.